Hey, what's up my friends? Welcome back to another Sprinkler Supply Store product overview. I'm Sprinkler Nerd Andy, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Rainbird DV Valve uh, three quarter inch, and this particular model is the LFV that you can see noted right there with the sticker, the orange sticker. LFV, I believe that stands for Low Flow Valve. And this has all the standard capabilities of the regular DV valve, but the LFV uh, has a unique design that allows it to operate better at a low flow rate and let the particles flow past the diaphragm better at low flow rates than the standard Rainbird DV valve or really any other valve on the market um, according to Rainbird. So what I wanna do is take the bonnet cover off of the valve, so I'm gonna undo all of the screws that are on here. And then we're gonna take a look at the diaphragm and we're gonna see what is different about the diaphragm. So stand by just one moment. We're gonna bounce right back. All right, I just used my fancy dancy uh, <laughs> battery powered screw gun to take the bonnet cover off of the valve. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna look inside. I'm gonna switch the camera around so we can get a better look at the diaphragm here. Okay, so let's take the cover off. First of all, it's got the standard Rainbird uh, solenoid. It has the handle for on and off. Make sure that uh, as a reminder that your valve is always in the off position and the solenoid is closed, not over tightened, but that it is closed and tight. And we're gonna take the cover off here. Careful if you're doing this in the ground that you don't lose the, uh, the, the spring. Although, you know what? That's seated pretty darn tight on top of there. And let's go ahead and remove that. I'm gonna be careful, you know, I'm not, not a super expert, but I'm gonna make sure that there's the flow direction. I'm gonna make sure that that yellow dot uh, is on the left-hand side. And you know what? What's kind of cool is I can tell this diaphragm actually says on there. Let's flip it around so you guys can can see that also. It does say low flow valve. See that? Low flow only. So right on the diaphragm, it is also labeled as the low flow only. And let's take it off here. You know, I don't have a standard DV valve to, uh, to match this up to, but I can see that there are some ridges in here. Um, I think this is called a Rainbird refers to this as a double knife technology that allows the particles to flow through the diaphragm better. So let's give you guys yet another look specifically at the double knife. There we go. The double knife diaphragm, which I believe are these ridges right inside there. So if you have an LV LFV valve, make sure you are replacing it with this particular diaphragm. And then underneath, it doesn't look like there is a little uh, diaphragm seat under there. It doesn't look like I can very easily remove that piece. No, it doesn't come out very easily. Um, so that is it. You've got the, the valve base, the, uh, the diaphragm seat, and then the, uh, the diaphragm itself that we'll put back on there, labeled. And then I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna get the, put the screw gun back on this, put the top back on here real quick, come back. All right, got the bonnet cover put back together here. And um, just wanna point out this valve can flow very, very low flows. Rainbird says it can go down all the way on this three quarter inch size to 0.2 gallons per minute. The one inch size can go down to 0.6 gallons per minute. And then it has a flow rate of up to 10 GPM and pressure anywhere from 15 to 150 PSI. You do have your standard bleed screw right here to manually turn the valve on and off. Remember that when you do loosen the bleed screw, it's called bleed because water does bleed out. And then otherwise you can turn the valve on by turning the solenoid counterclockwise about a quarter position will open and close the valve. And uh, hope this video 
gave you just a little bit better look at the Rainbird DV three quarter inch LFV valve. And if we can help you with any of your Rainbird sprinkler questions, valve questions, controller questions, drip questions, filter questions, we're happy to do so. You can reach us by phone, chat, and email. And until the next Sprinkler Supply Store product overview, happy sprinkling. We'll talk to you then.